And also this Christmas, make it a spectacular by bringing your family and friends to the Vail Skating Festival. Okay, so Ava, my daughter, <laughs> is a huge fan of Nathan Chen, and you got to chat with him, Danny. Yeah, I did. You know what? He's actually really cool, super chill, which is... Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's always kind of surprising when somebody that big, an of athlete course, that big, that's is successful. so awesome. Yeah. And guess what, Claudia? He likes ice cream. He does? Yeah. Oh. A lot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll, we'll talk about it in this segment. Here's what he had to say. <laughs> Eddie, I want you to tell us about the Veil Ice Spectacular, what people can expect this year. Boy, I tell you, this year we have two great shows. Last year we sold out our show three weeks in advance, so we added a second show this year. The shows are December 22nd and 23rd at Dobson Arena. The show begins at 6.30 p.m. It's a 90-minute show, so if people are coming up from the front range, they can get back to Denver uh, by 10 o'clock. So it makes it a, a great day trip. Um, we also have some great deals in Vail as well uh, at some of the hotels on our website. And um, we've got some great tickets this year. Um, all the on-ice seating, we have 500 seats on the ice. Uh, those are all reserved seating this year, which is um, an improvement from last year. Nathan, are you excited to be coming uh, back to Colorado? Absolutely, yeah. Last year was a really awesome show. Um, the skaters were fantastic. The crowd was great. Vail was awesome. So definitely very excited to go back again this year. Yes. Okay, so Nathan, we have a bajillion questions for you, but I'll try to pare them down a little bit. Uh, first of all, tell us a little bit um, about your training. What goes on behind the scenes for you? I know a lot of people at home when they watch you, you just make it look so easy. So how do you get to the level that you're at? It's really just a great team, uh, great coaches, great parents, great family uh, that have supported me throughout my entire career. Um, and just every single day, many school steps forward. and. Um, really also just in love, loving the process, enjoying it as much as I can. So uh, all these things combined have helped me a lot along the way. Incredible. Well, obviously a great team is, is really the backbone to a great athlete, which is so great. Now, you of course were the first skater to land five quadruple jumps uh, in a row, which is so impressive. Can you walk me through what that felt like when, when that happened? Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, quads was a, a big part of my um, sort of offensive strategy um, and it was something that I really enjoyed doing uh, as soon as I landed my first quad I just wanted to do another and another and another um, and it just uh, continued continued growing until I got to a point where I was able to do five and I uh, started attempting six and then just kept trying to move forward and, and push myself as much as I possibly could um, so it felt great to be able to, to be able to do it in competition. It's so impressive, really, it is to be able to watch you and the other Olympians uh, kind of achieve these incredible feats that nobody would ever think a, a human could actually do. So it, it really is incredible. OK, weird question, but I'm actually genuinely curious. What does uh, an Olympian skater's diet look like? I mean, are you on a pretty regimented food diet? <laughs> yeah, there's definitely times um, in which, you know, we structure our diet accordingly, depending on the season. Uh, most of the athletes work with a nutritionist, but my bottom line is when I'm hungry, I'm going to eat. You know, I don't try to, I don't try to uh, restrict too much. Uh, I don't try to do any calorie restriction or anything like that. Uh, just try to eat healthy. Try to eat, you know, more plant-based, uh, and try to, um, yeah, just get all the nutrients that I can get. Good for you. Okay, so then, what's your like number one go-to cheat? Like, if you're gonna have something that you're like, all right, I'm craving this right now. What's what's your big crave meal? <laughs> yeah. I mean, again, bottom line is, you know, I don't think that we should ever have this feeling that we can't eat, that we can't be, you know, indulging when we want. Obviously, everything in uh, in moderation, but um, I'm a big fan of ice cream. <laughs> I like ice cream. Desserts are awesome. I'm, I got a big sweet tooth, so uh, any any sort of desserts are great for me. <laughs> Heck yeah, that makes me really happy. Okay, so do you have a favorite flavor then? Um, I like birthday cake. I like uh, chocolate chip cookie dough, the light, all the likes. <laughs> I love that. Okay, guys kids at home. Nathan Chen, totally a normal person. Look at him. He eats ice cream too. That's so awesome. Well, Nathan, before I let you go, I want to ask you too, you know, there's so many kids at home that watch you and watch other Olympians uh, and just get so excited about potentially being able to do that one day, saying to themselves, you know, maybe I can make it to that level. Any messages that you have out there for the kids that are hoping to one day get to that, get to that point? Yeah, I mean, bottom line is, you know, really enjoy what you're doing. Make sure that you uh, are driven first and foremost by the passion of what you're doing. Um, and then second thing, as I mentioned already, just surround yourself by great people. Um, there's only so much that you individually can do. So be vulnerable, talk to your team, talk to your parents, your coaches, tell them how it actually is. Um, everyone 
in your team as long as you select your team properly will will have your best interests at heart so being able to um you know efficiently communicate how you're feeling and what you need is really important definitely well nathan thank you so much for the time eddie quickly too how can people get tickets that's a great question. Thank you. It's veilscapefest.com and you can go right on there and get your tickets. Uh, once again, the tickets uh, sold out last year. So we say get your tickets in advance and uh, we have the two shows December 22nd and 23rd. Excellent. Well, guys, thank you so much again. And Nathan, happy holidays. Next time you're, uh, you're here in Denver, we're going to bring you in and we'll get you some birthday cake ice cream. Okay. Amazing. Love that. <laughs> happy thank you, Danny. And that's a promise. Okay, you can get your tickets now to the 2023 Vail Skating Festival's Ice Spectacular on December 22nd and 23rd at Dobson Arena. We'll be right back.